Hello friends, welcome to Digit.in. We are at the Qualcomm booth, which is the main driver of the 5G technology. We will now be taking a tour with Qualcomm on their booth, where the company executive will show us what all the company has to offer and the use cases of the 5G technology. How we can use a new technology called coordinate and multipoint for uh, 5G NR operating in unlicensed spectrum, such as 5 and 6 gigahertz. Sure. Yeah. Can you please uh, demo what is what is this what is this showcasing here? So what we're showing here is how uh, uh, 5 5G NR would uh, behave in unlicensed spectrum today, like 5 gigahertz, where we have technology called listen before talk. You have to first make sure the channel is empty, and then you transmit. What, what the behavior then turns out is that everybody taking turn in a more random fashion. But if we can time synchronize, which we think is one of the enhancements we want to introduce for unlicensed spectrum. Then we can add a technology called COM, Coordinated Multipoint. And this technology allows us to transmit from, from multiple antenna points at the same time. Uh, it, it does require a fiber to coordinated uh, uh, central unit, but that's very feasible in an indoor location or a private network as we're showing here. The benefit, of course, is by doing this, we can now create spatial uh, separations. We can send a signal to all the four UEs from all the locations at the same time. And in this case, we're going to show we get four, or this is 4x uh, capacity gain. So this is actually a live demo running from our warehouse in San Diego. So it's, the data is coming in live. Live, de uh, live from San Diego? Yes, it's live from San Diego right now. Sure. And what the device that we're using here is these are mobile test device uh, And these are actually with our Qualcomm Snapdragon 5G modem. I'm just showing this to, to show how real 5G we're showing in this demonstration. So this is very exciting that how much capacity we can gain in, in, in one net. But another very uh, interesting or uh, valuable aspect of time synchronization and POM is in a dual network scenario, if we start again with what we will have today if we run this in 5 gigahertz, for example, with listen before talk, everybody's taking turn. We now have two networks, we're showing that with a little wall here in between, but they still hear each other, so they're still going to have to listen and wait for the channel. We can add the same technology and synchronize each network with each other. Now we're going to get the same gains, and in this case we will have two UEs, so we're going to get 2x, but if we had more UEs and more TRPs, we will get higher gains. We could have got 4x like we did last time if we had four TRPs and four UEs. But now, now to the most uh, interesting aspect is we can we have spatial dimension left over. That means we have enough antennas to create uh, spatial separation uh, in in additional directions. So by this network, we can actually listen to the UEs in this network on a high level signal, and by listening to that UE, you can cre create a pattern when it's transmitting such that it has full signal strength there and none over here, so it doesn't interfere. So if I turn this technology on. The only requirement is that this network has to be time synchronized with each other, but they don't have to share any data. So this uh, small cell is now listening to these UEs, creating a signal such that not, it's not, it doesn't interfere with the green one, but it can still send to its own network, and vice versa over here. We're not getting 4x gain because we didn't share everything like we did before, but we're still getting a 3x gain, and we think this is very exciting and in, in for unlicensed spectrum, how you can get more out of the spectrum. It could also be applicable, so one of the spectrum we, we're looking at is 6 gigahertz, which is a new unlicensed spectrum, if we can add some time synchronization. Other spectrum could be dedicated spectrum. In some countries, like Germany, is looking at allocating a, a spectrum for industrial use. So imagine these are one uh, factory and this is another factory, and they both want to use this new spectrum. This way, they can both have the whole spectrum and use it at the same time. So, uh, any prospects of uh, this technology coming to India anytime soon? So, uh, our, we are pursuing this as our release 16 uh, effort. So, we, we, the way we develop new technology and research is we, we also test it in these over there test beds, so test networks. So, then we propose it into the standards. And then when the standard comes out, then we can uh, deploy it. So, it, uh, this is uh, still in the research phase. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.